a gathering to welcome Lee Ann Naidu home. 60-year-old Howard Ali has traveled all the way from Durban. I'm here to welcome Lee Ann Naidu. I feel she did a very courageous uh, act by going all the way to, uh, to Israel and being, uh, knowing the fact that they could be killed. Naidu's wife, Kelly Gillespie, is waiting anxiously. 30 minutes after touchdown, the activist appears. Naidu was one of 13 pro-Palestine activists detained by the Israeli government on Wednesday night. The women were hoping to reach Gaza by boat in the challenge to the Israeli blockade. Their vessel was intercepted by the Israeli Defense Force. I can't believe she was on that plane until I saw her. But when I saw her, um, I also saw that something has changed in her face and she doesn't look the same as when she left. And I think, um, I mean, we'll have to now sit and speak for days about what, what happened. The dehumanizing practice is in fact very simple. It's a case of locking people up. Speaking about the incident, Naidu could not hold back the tears. Cross-questioning you as if you are a terrorist. But the media briefing was not without incident. Ambassador, I'm going to have to stop you. No, 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 no,